Welcome back everyone. So this tutorial is going to be very quick. It's just going to be a scarf. It shouldn't be too complicated. It should be very simple, straightforward. So everyone, I'm just going to use the avatar I downloaded from Nick's website, from the Zebra Central site. So I'm just going to add that in as the avatar. And then the scale is a thousand, just like before. And I'm just going to use this just as the base of the avatar. So to create the scarf, it's pretty straightforward. I have some reference. So the reference would be just something simple. It's just an overall thick wool scarf, cotton, whatever you want to do. Whatever material I will use when it looks the best. And then it's just something like this. So it's just a very simple scarf. Shouldn't take that long to make. Sometimes scarves are a little bit more a pain to make just because of they tie in with each other. So this is how I would make one, but do it however you want. So to start, I'll just draw it out. I'm going to overemphasize the size of it just because I want to get the folds to read correctly. And I could just change it up later. I'm going to add a new fabric. I'm going to name it. This will be the scarf. I'm going to change the color just because. It doesn't need to be changed, but yeah, it's fine. So apply that on. I'm also going to change the particle distance to something lower. I'll change it to 10. And the scarf I'll make pretty thick. I'll make it 3 and 3. Put on the thickness viewing. Usually the scarf, you fold them in half, so I'm going to add an internal line down the middle, just for reference, and turn off, actually turn off, uh, double-sided. I'm going to go to the fold arrangement and then select this. I'm going to fold this inward. And so after I get that in, I'm going to actually stitch in the left side to the right side just because I want it to feel layered. I will delete that stitch at the end, but for now, I just wanted to keep it so it's easier to work with and delete this internal line because that was just to rotate it on that axis. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to the pins. I'm going to use the pink little shirt icon basically, select it, and select like the top row. This is what I'm going to use to move my scarf around the body. It's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to simulate it just so it gets together and there we go so slowly I'm just gonna move this up and just play around with it just don't do it too fast or it'll shoot up too fast basically so just let it sim just slowly I could always make the scarf shorter afterwards I just want to lock this part in and lock this into the middle basically and then slowly just move it around I'm going to change the fabric also I'm going to pause that so the fabric is a little too soft right now so I'm going to select the fabric and I'm going to change the preset so I'm going to change it to cotton I think that will make it a little bit thicker a little bit sturdier. So just moving around. When you move it, you can select it and you can rotate it also. That's why this pink shirt icon is nice because it'll select all those and you can use those all as a rotation, moving, and everything. It's and I'll I will i will unpin it afterwards, but for now it's good for just moving stuff around. And I'll wrap it around. I want to do two wraps around the neck basically so I could and I could tuck it in. Yeah, pull this up a little bit more. I want to pull this down. I need more length on the left side because I need to loop it around still. So just slowly do it or it'll fly over his head and it'll cause problems. So I'm going to pin it here too. 
because this is where I'm going to tuck it in on the next fold. On the next loop around the head. And you just got to be very careful, just very patient with it. Just let it go. You go too fast, it's going to just go a little too crazy and you won't be able to control it. More patience you have, easier it'll, it'll go. And then just pull it around. I'm going to pull these this pen out. And I'm going to pin these because I need a little bit more. And I'm going to pin around here just because I need to make a hole for where I'm going to tuck the scarf into. So slowly just move it and you'll slowly figure it out. Sometimes it's a little difficult to do this, but this is how I would do it. So you can select this and then just move it on the axis, on the green axis down. So it basically tucks it in. After it's tucked in, I could unpin these. And pull it down. And I can unpin all now. Pin, delete all pins. Uh, if you pull too tightly, it's going to clip into the other scarf and just basically bleed out of it. So you don't want to do, you don't want to pull too hard too quickly. And now you can just play with the scarf how you want. So I'm going to let it just fade off a little bit, just send a little bit more. Just let it go. Now it's just trying to get it how you want to lay on the character. The bottom is a little too long, so I'm going to shorten this up now. Just take it in small steps. And I want to make the other end a little bit longer. Especially doing a scarf, you want to save it occasionally just because you'll get the fold that you like at one stage and then at some point you might mess it up. So for doing something like this where it's just one piece of garment and it's all about the folds, it's nice to save it pretty consistently. So I'm just going to save it. So I'm going to just save it as scarf, the base. There's not going to be much detail on this, but I'll still name it the same. So now it's just playing around with the scarf, just getting it how you want it on there. And you could add these orange pins, the W hold W and just pin it around just to get it where you want to let lie. And you can unpin it all afterwards. But I want a thick scarf basically around him. Just because for the for games and that you want the folds to be really noticeable, really you want the silhouette to pop out also. So after I have it kind of how I would want it, you can play around with it more, do what you want. I'm going to delete the stitching that's on them and delete some of these pins. Actually, I will just delete all the pins and then I'll just sim it. So there we go guys. It's a simple scarf. I could take this into the ZBrush and just do the final detail to make it fit the head. I have to retopologize it and do anything else I need to do. But for scarf, this is pretty simple. I could add a little seams on the bottom, so very simple. I'll just add like the seam lines where there could be a nice trim or something. So I could offset and then turn a line again and just do 15, turn off the double side and see where it was placed. I want a little bit lower than that, so I'll just move it up a little bit. And now I'm just going to save this as details, save as garment, 
and this will be two, and this will be details. And save it. So as I made those internal lines, I'm going to make the second internal line just because it'll give a little bit more emphasize to them. So I'm going to offset those two. And I want those going anywhere, and that's fine. So for these, I'm going to set the fold angle to 360 and turn off. And then the top ones, I'm going to set to zero. And then just sim it really quick. And yeah, you can see it's just it just adds a little seam on there, basically a little trim. So there's different ways you could handle this scarf. I emphasize the size of it just so, and when I take it in a Z brush, I could change it up. I'll probably make it a little smaller, fit the neck a little bit better. You could play around in Marvelous too if you want to make it fit exactly how you like. If you have to do different animations with it or do something with it that it's gonna have actually tension maps or normal map blending, you could just play around with it in here to get it how you like, and then you could just take it from here and retopologize it and then just reproject everything. So depending on your situation, what you need to do, it all depends. Uh, you could also pull down the particle distance at the end just to give it so just to give it a little bit more smoothness and everything overall, and then just sim it and then you turn off the simulation. So yeah, and now yeah I'll just save it again as details. Other than that, if I wanted to, I could add the little dangly bits on these, but most of that stuff would be an alpha card you would add afterwards, and you wouldn't model it out. So you could add it in here, but it would most likely be more efficient just to add it afterwards. Other than that, guys, this was a simple tutorial just to go through a scarf, how I would tie it through a knot, and don't be too fast when you do stuff like this. This you have to be a little bit more patient with, a little bit slower with, and take your time. The particle distance matters a little bit more just because if it's a little higher particle distance, it's going to be lower res, which makes the folds a little bit harder and it clips in a little bit more. You just have to be a little bit slower with this impatient. Okay, everyone, see you next time.